All right, and then here's the third one. Um, I'm watching this movie last night, Deception. I don't know if anybody saw it. It's an awful movie. But at the end of the movie, the guy gets a briefcase with $10 million in it and $100 bills. Is that even possible? So $10 million and $100 bills. Let's say the briefcase is 18 by 24 by 6. It's a pretty big briefcase. And I want to know how many $100 bills will fit into this briefcase. How many $100 bills will fit into this briefcase? Do you need your paper and your notebooks out to figure this out? But before you start, what's the first thing you need to know, Landon? Or Seth? Uh, sorry, um, the thickness of the dollar bills. Thickness of a dollar bill or a hundred dollar bill. I only have a one, but probably the same. So I'm going to find the measurements of a one dollar bill. Is this a surface area problem or a volume problem? Is it? So it's a dollar bill six by two and a half. So here's my dollar bill which is six inches by two and a half yeah, inches. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's a, it's a volume problem, Landon. So I need to know the thickness of a dollar bill, right? So I'm going to use my, what's this called again, Nick? Caliper. So I'm going to use my dial caliper to see the thickness of that dollar bill. So how thick is that? Yeah, five thousandths of an inch. So that, so a bill is five thousandths of an inch thick. So the thickness of this is 0 .005, five thousandths of an inch. To figure out how many of those dollar bills could fit into that briefcase. It is how to put those bills in the briefcase, right? So are you going to go two and a half up, six over? So that'll give us. Right, six times four is a 24, but two and a half is not going to go into 18. Is that a better layout? Or is this going to be a better layout? Right? So this it would fit three that way. Is that going to be a better layout? Or actually putting them all like this, you know, looking down on them, like this, which one's the best layout? So you got to figure that out first. Which way you can optimize the number of bills you can get in there? Lengthwise, I could go six inches four times, and that's a perfect fit. Then going up the two and a half inches, two and a half, I could get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The 17 and a half. So I'm going to have a half inch waist at the top. So I'm going to waste a half inch by 24 inches. How many square inches is that, George? What area of a rectangle is base times height? So base is 24, height is a half. So this is 12 square inches. Over here, I'm going to put the bills in lengthwise, so they'll fit perfectly this way. Six times three is 18 inches. But this way, I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times two and a half is 22 and a half. <coughs> 22 and a half of the 24 inches means I'm wasting one and a half inches. One and a half times 18. How many inches am I wasting in this scenario here, Caleb? So in this scenario here, I'm wasting 27 square inches. And the volume is going to be the same, the amount of height I come up. Sean? But can't you like, put uh, bills sideways, like in that little one half? Like yeah, you could stack the little bills in there that way as well. Um, so now the question is, if I have piles 1, 2, 3, 4, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here I'm gonna have four by seven, 28 piles. So we'll stick with this scenario of 28 piles. How many bills can I get in one pile if the inside dimension is six inches high? So how many bills can I get in one pile? How do I do that? Six divided by 0.005. Yep, I'm gonna go six divided by 0 0.005, and that's gonna give me 1,200 bills in one pile. Everybody there? The overall distance divided by the thickness. So 6 divided by 0.05 is 1,200. 1,200 times the 28 piles is 33,000 
bills. Oh, that is what you had, right? About yeah. So thirty-four thousand bills times a hundred dollars per bill puts me at oh three point four million. It's a lot of money. So you could actually fit in over three million dollars in that briefcase. Three point four million dollars. Three briefcases. 